nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. All right guys, all right guys, what is going on? Today's video is, um, it's not gonna be long. I just need to talk about this, man, I need to talk about it. It's gonna be an episode of Making Gains. I don't even know what day it is, it doesn't even matter. This video is certainly not about making gains, it's not about training, it's not about fucking food or anything like that. Um, recently guys, recently, a couple of my friends, not close friends, but they are friends, definitely more than acquaintances, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable really. Um, two different people. One guy is 30 years old. I know him from the gym. Another guy is 26 and I know him from a rugby team. Within one month of each other, they both got diagnosed with brain tumors. These guys are my age. Okay. Completely random, they're both healthy, they both eat well, one of them obviously goes to the gym, one of them trains, you know, trains with me at rugby. Um, and completely at random, they, uh, they, they both managed to um, unfortunately get diagnosed with brain tumours. Now, one of my friends, uh, the one that I saw at the gym, I noticed that he had, he'd been away for about two or three months and I didn't know why, you know, I, he was, he was going great guns before he went. In fact, we were always talking about how he was, um, you know, getting leaner and finally getting in the shape he's always wanted to be in and, and it was great. You know, I always gave him support. He gave me support. And then a couple of weeks ago, I saw him for the first time in ages and, you know, I went up to him and, like the smiley guy I am usually, you know, we're, we're always joking around and, and I went up to him and said, hey, bro, where have you been? And he turned to me and he, he wasn't smiling. Um, and I noticed that half of his face was uh, drooping down. And what had happened that he, he, he eventually told me, um, three months ago when I'd seen him last, he suffered from headaches. Um, he was suffering from... Um, but. I, th I, I can't recall, I can't recall. Anyways, he was suffering from a few things that were, you know, pretty random, um, weird. He went to the doctor um, and, you know, test after scan after test, they found that he had quite a large uh, tumour on the left side of his brain. And so he went down to Adelaide. Alice Springs doesn't have a, a, a hospital big enough or good enough to, you know, deal with brain surgery. So he went down to Adelaide. They, pour, they performed the... the the operation, they um, took out the tumour, but in doing so, they they must have nicked uh, some nerves in his face, and basically half of his face is is you know it's not working, um, and it's taken him three months to get the courage and to get you know the the confidence to to start going back to the gym, the place that he loves. You know this was his. This was his passion. This was everything to him. And, uh, you know, a life event like that can just completely fuck it all up. Um, very similar story to, you know, and I just feel sorry for him. What can, what can I say? What can I say? I said to him, man, fuck, you know, what can I say? He said that it's not, not all hope is lost. He may get function back in his face um, slowly, but it may take years, may take months, you know. He doesn't know. So he... He's on the way up, but basically, I mean, something like that just really hits home that you just got to take every day in good health as a blessing, because it really is a blessing, and you don't realize how important your health is until it's taken away. It's just like, you know, when you're, when you're feeling sick, you've got a stomachache, you're nauseous, right? When you finally do throw up, and that stomachache goes away, at least for a little bit. Don't you feel so good? Don't you feel so appreciative just to have no stomachache? And we wake up every single morning with no stomachache. Well, most of us do, except for when you're pregnant. But we wake up each morning, no headache, no stomachache, and we don't appreciate it until it happens to us, and then we finally do get better, and then we're like, fuck, thank God that's over. But at the end of the day, guys, every single day that we wake up, that we're above the ground, 
you know, that we feel in good health. I feel good right now. You know, I could complain about a few things, but really, I feel fine. I feel good. I don't have a fucking brain tumor and I don't have half of my face that is not working. That's what it comes down to. And secondly, my other mate, Alex, um, probably a better friend of mine, um, I just saw a, and it's funny, you know, things like this happen to people and they just disappear. They don't tell anyone, you know. It's, it's, I wouldn't know how to approach telling people if something bad happened to me. Um, I'm more concerned about helping other people, you know. I, I would never sort of want to put myself in that position, that vulnerable position, or at least I'd feel vulnerable, um, where, you know, people were pitying on me and sympathizing with me and stuff. I really don't know how I'd go through it. And so, you know, these guys, um, they're, they're battling on, man. They're soldiers, and, and I, I really, really respect them for that. So my other mate Alex, similar story, he started having symptoms, headaches, um, you know, very, very lethargic, things like that. Went down to Adelaide, got scans done, once again, boom, brain tumour. Age fucking 26. Um, he hasn't had his surgery yet, um, so he's back up in Alice Springs, but he's had to, he's had to stop work, his, his missus has had to stop work, um, and basically there's a GoFundMe uh, website that's been, you know, raised, uh, well, that's been created to raise money for these guys because they both aren't working now. Um, they've got bills, they've got rent, you know, and it's, it's, it's sad. It really is sad. Let's be fucking real. Right now, I could have, <laughs> I could have cancer growing in me. I could. You could never do enough scans or enough tests to, you know, cover all your bases to know that no nothing's going wrong with you. There may be. So that goes back to what I said before, you know, every day that you're feeling good, take, don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted, man. Each one of these breaths that we're breathing, clearly, great air, you know. It's, uh, it's precious, man. It's fucking precious. And... Yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to say. I just had to, I had to tell someone because I've had two friends get brain tumors out of absolutely nowhere and had their, their lives turned completely upside down. And you'd be a real fuckwit to not imagine at least at some point, what would that be like if it happened to me? And if you can think about those kind of things and, 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 and tell yourself, you know, and tell yourself internally, you know, yes, okay, I know I should be appreciating life more. I should be, you know, concentrating on my health more. At least, you can just jog your memory a little bit, you know, at least think about the subject for a little bit because, fuck, it's scary, man. It's fucking scary, like, is it cell phones? Is it phones? Is it all these, all these electronics? Is it staring at the screens too long? You know, what is it? It just seems too weird to be, to be a coincidence. So, what I do want to say is, uh, good luck to both of these fellas. I don't know if either of them will ever see this video, um, but, you know, you've really affected me um, in a good way. You know, it's, 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 it's a good way. I'm getting a positive out of your guys' negative, okay? I am definitely getting a sort of a, a re, rethink and a reevaluation on, on life and what's important and what I should appreciate. So, good luck, fellas. Alice Springs is behind you. So is my YouTube channel. So, we'll get there. Head up, man. Head up. Peace.